What's up guys, it's George here from George on Sports and this is your week one scouting report for the Indianapolis Colts for the Fantasy Football Network. NFL is back and it's week one for the Indianapolis Colts as they travel to Houston to take on the Texans in Matt Ryan's first ever game as a Colt in this interdivisional battle. Now we only have a couple of injuries in this game which is great for the offense, great for the defense so we should boast quite a strong squad. Shaquille Leonard was Darius Leonard, now Shaquille, is out with a back injury, but this is to be expected, so Colts fans, fear not, he did have his off-season surgery, we knew it was coming, we knew it was planned, and he needs his time to recover. He did actually say he's played a number of years with this injury, so going forward, we should have the best of him. Number two, offensive tackle Dennis Kelly is questionable with a knee injury, so we're not sure whether he plays yet, but again, it's against the Texans, I don't necessarily think there should be cause for concern if he doesn't play. Here are some things I think you should know. In the last 10 years, the Indianapolis Colts have won one out of 10 opening season games. Now that's, that's brutal, I have to be honest. That's, that's not a record that any team should be proud of. One opening season game in the last 10 years. So here we have Matt Ryan, who travels to Houston to take on the Texans in an interdivisional battle. I can't see anything else but a win, which should set the, set the tone for the season. But also, the last meeting between the Houston Texans and the Colts ended in the 31 to nothing route for the Colts. So really, I can't see a way that the Colts don't win this game. The Texans are, you know, they've got David Mills at quarterback. They're, they're okay, but the Colts should win this game hands down. Now, Matt Ryan has actually only played the Houston Texans three times in his career. And out of those three times, his record is one and two. Now, I know what you're thinking. How has he not beat the Texans all three times? Well, he's had a number of different squads, different personnel, and everything else that comes with it, defense, special teams. This time around, he's with the Colts. We're a completely different team, great offense, great defense. Whether we're home or away, I don't see a way that we don't win this game. And that record should improve to 2-2. Two two. Lastly, Chris Ballard has made it crystal clear that Colts legend T.Y. Hilton is unlikely to return to the team. Now, we know T.Y. has been with us for a long time. And what he actually does do against the Texans is do nothing but put up points. Sadly, he won't be part of this game. And he's also shy of 10,000 yards as a Colt, which isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to happen. But I think it's the, right, it's, the, it's the right time for him to step away. He may join with another team. He still has a little bit of juice left in the tank. But I think for the Colts, it's time for people like Ashton Julian, who's a dark horse, and rookie Alec Pierce to step up and show what they can do. Now, the two players that I just mentioned, the rookie wide receiver Alec Pierce and wide receiver Ashton Julian for the Colts, are the two players that I think we need to watch. And I'll start with Alec Pierce. He is a rookie, rookie wide receiver that we drafted from Cincinnati. And dare I say it, he reminds me of a young Jordy Nelson of the Green Bay Packers. He's fast, he can make, make space for himself, and he's a go-up-and-get-it type of receiver. Something we haven't had in a while. Now, we do have Michael Pittman Jr., but I feel like Alec Pierce can be the opposite of, of, of exactly that. We need that 1A and 1B, and I feel like Alec Pierce, if he gets up to speed, he can be that guy to line up alongside um, Michael Pittman Jr. And then you can fill in the guys in tight end, Jelani Woods, who we often drafted, or Mo Early Cox, who is, I like to call, Gigantor. Now, the other guy that I think we should all be paying attention to is wide receiver Ashton Julian for the Indianapolis Colts, who I think is a huge dark horse for this season. He hasn't been spoken about that much in the league. That's because he kind of goes under the radar. But Frank Reich and Chris Ballard know all about him and they sing his praises consistently. They talked about him before camp. They talked about him during camp. I actually spoke to the Colts.com writer, JJ Stankovic, who also said that Ashton Julian is looking great. He's earned himself a position in the slot and I feel like he could eventually grow to become one of Matt Ryan's safety blankets. We also use him in the kick return game because he's fast, he's agile, he's a smaller size receiver, so he can get in and out of the pockets quite quickly. So look for him to make a splash, and that will kind of determine what his, what his snap rate will be moving forward in this season. We move on to our fantasy starts and fantasy sits. It goes without saying, you never drop Jonathan Taylor. You never ever in any situation drop Jonathan Taylor. He is the best running back in the NFL. Yes, Derrick Henry is also up there. But as a Colts fan, of course, I'm going to tell you that Jonathan Taylor is the best running back in the game. But he also proves it. You see it week in, week out when he carries teams. He carries the team on his back. He helps the team in terms of play action. And he knows when to, he knows when to make the right cuts. He's efficient, he's quick, and he's reliable. You start him every single week. We're playing against the Houston Texans. They don't have the greatest of defenses. Um, and to be fair, the Texans are in a bit of a weird place. They're not really sure what their identity is. They obviously lost quarterback Deshaun Watson, and they're now with David, David Mills, who I don't think is awful, but I don't think he's any match for our Colts defense. So it looks like John Taylor is, is there for the, he's there to carve up the Houston defense. Um, and it's, it's business as usual for John Taylor. So you, you, everybody start him, get him in your lineups. Start your Indianapolis Colts defenses. We are playing the Houston Texans away from home. The Texans don't really offer much of a threat aside from wide receiver Brandon Cooks, who we know likes to take the top off defenses. 
but also they have rookie Damon Pierce, who is looking like a great running back. But again, with the pair that we, the, the number of guys that we have on defense, even though Shaquille Leonard is out, I think we have more than enough to deal with what they have to offer. Um, I would start your defenses. If you've been paying attention in the off season, we've all we've been all about getting that ball, securing the ball, securing fumbles as well. We did that so many times last season with um, Shaquille Leonard and many other guys on the defense. Bobby Okereke was was there breaking up passes and making interceptions. I don't see any of that changing. If anything. We've brought on Stefan Gilmore. We've brought on Yannick Ngokwe. We've got Kari Willis. Uh, Kari Willis retired, but we've got Blackman back. Um, safety Nick Cross, who we recruited, who I think is a, is a hell of a baller and isn't spoken about enough. He's only 20 or 21 years old. I think our defence is lights out. Start your defences for this game and you can thank me later. Now, when we're talking about who to sit, I'm looking at one guy in particular, Paris Campbell, wide receiver. And I say that because over the last few years or three to four years, he hasn't been that reliable. We know his backstory. Um, his injury rate is quite high. Um, he doesn't really, he doesn't often, he doesn't, in fact, hasn't finished any season since he's been with the Colts um, where he hasn't been hurt. But we know what he is capable of doing. We saw it last season with Carson Wentz where he's throwing bombs down the field and, and Campbell is right there to complete it for a touchdown. Um, he can take the top off the defenses. He can make things happen. He's a quick, shifty guy. But I think for the first game of the season, we need to let him play the game out. If he finishes the game, if he ends up um, injury-free, that's exactly what we want. And then we can look at where we plug and play him for the future games down the line. And that brings us to the end of our week one scouting report for the Colts, who face off against the Texans in what I feel should be a really easy win. I've been George from George on Sports, your Colts correspondent for Fantasy Football Network. Stay tuned for next week's report, where the Colts will look to break the curse against the Jacksonville Jaguars.